Hey guys, welcome to the first ever Ashley's Pinterest pick of the week. We are making... Oh, it doesn't even have a fancy name. And I'm back. And we're making slow cooker beef and noodles. Such a complicated title. Basically self-explanatory. We're gonna slow cooker this sucker and it's gonna be delicious, I'm hoping. Easiest thing ever. I love cooking things in the crock pot. So this is right up my alley. I don't have the luxury of time, so I'm gonna cook mine on high and probably do four, four and a half hours. That way baby chick can have it with us as well. What we're gonna need today is stew meat. It calls for one and a half pounds, but I am using a little over a pound just because it's me and James and baby chick. Baby chick doesn't eat that much. So I don't want a ton of leftover, so I'm doing a little under. Then you're gonna need French onion soup and you're gonna need cream of mushroom soup. I got cream of mushroom soup with garlic in it. And if anybody knows me, they know I love garlic. So this was pretty exciting find for me. It usually calls for cream of celery soup, but James and I are not big cream of celery people. So I'm switching it up and hoping for the best. And then you're gonna need noodles. Cause let's just be honest, the name of it is slow cooker beef and noodles. So I normally like wheat noodles however they were out so i got smart taste two and a half times the fiber and who doesn't like a little extra fiber in their diet because it keeps you regular people i'm just saying anyway we're gonna get started so let's go ew here is the bad part about cooking with ashley she doesn't like to touch me it's disgusting chicken beef. that's what she said <laughs> it's just gross Flopping it in. And then look out, because it's gotta go in the garbage. Now I have to wash my hands, because I'm a germaphobe. To do this. Yep, I'm dumping. Mm. See the... Now see, I don't like onion, but I love the smell of this. I don't like the way it looks when it comes out. <laughs> and then you stir it all together. Oh, sick, look how big those onions are. Squirrel. Ours is gonna be a little bit soupier because I still added the same amount of liquids and not as much beef, but I like a little it a little bit soupier just because then you can pour, you don't feel bad about using all the liquids on the side to pour it over your noodles. And let's just be honest, who likes dry noodles? It doesn't look appetizing now, but I swear, or actually I hope it'll be appetizing later. I can't swear to anything because I don't know. Like I said earlier, I don't have the convenience of a whole lot of time. So I'm gonna do mine on high, even though I know it's better to do low. Um, and I'm gonna do like a little over four hours. Here goes nothing. So it is basically done. It's been cooking for not quite four and a half hours and it smells delicious. It actually, I had put my finger in it and tasted it. Hold on. Noodles are done. We're gonna put some rolls with it. We're gonna have a salad, but since we're not starving, we're gonna wait till tomorrow to have the salad. Pretty excited about this. I will let you know how it tastes. We'll show you kind of the finished product and if you guys tried it, let me know what you thought and leave your comments down below. If you guys wanna see where I got the ideas, the full recipes, all that good stuff, anything else that I might be pinning or have pinned, you can follow me on Pinterest. We will have that down below as well. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at this thing, honey. That is falling apart and tender. 
Really? What? Okay. I remember that. What? I spilled it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. 